OK, uh, let's begin today's discussion. You are supposed to have finished the novel. Um, so. Uh, let's look at the questions. Question one. How would you describe the woman that Grace becomes? So we already know that Grace's childhood is not really a happy childhood. Um, and that's kind of predictable because of the terrible relationship of her parents. Um, and in chapter 17, sorry, 15, in chapter 15, we see how um, in her high school and early college years, uh, she has been completely controlled by Edith and that Edith doesn't seem to really know what she's doing. Uh, and so Grace in college gets pregnant, um, quickly marries a young kid, you know, like 18, 19, 19, 20, that kind of age. Uh, and then the guy joins World War II and, and uh, dies. So that's the end of Grace's childhood. Let's look at the woman that Grace is now on page 246. Um, let's see. Here. Stoner. Let's see. This is the first big paragraph on 246. The middle big paragraph. Um, he had come to realize, this is Stoner, that Grace's removal from Columbia, which means after she leaves Columbia, uh, perhaps even her pregnancy, was in reality a flight from a prison to which she now returned out of an ineradicable kindness and a gentle goodwill. Uh, so Stoner starts to realize that uh, Grace's childhood was a prison and that she's only back now to visit her parents because she's such a kind and good person. Um, though Edith did not suspect it or would not admit it, Grace had, Stoner knew, begun to drink with a quiet seriousness. So she's not drinking to have fun, she drinks seriously. Uh, why would someone drink seriously? Um, reminds me of an old joke. Uh, a guy sees a drunk at a bar, he keeps drinking bottle after bottle of beer, and finally, he says to the drunk, wow, you must really like that beer, huh? And the drunk says, I don't drink it because I like it. So why do people do uh, drink like that? Well, for many people, it's simply to forget or to um, escape their own thoughts for a while. And for some people, it's even to help pass the time. It's something to do. Um, the point of drinking is to not have to deal with the present, what's going on right now. Uh, so it's a sign of unhappiness. Stoner first knew it during the summer of the year after the war had ended. Grace had come to visit them for a few days. She seemed particularly worn, which means tired. Her eyes were shadowed. There were shadows under her eyes. And today we would say bags there are, or, or dark circles. And her face was tense and pale. One evening after dinner, Edith went to bed early and Grace and Stoner sat together in the kitchen drinking coffee. Uh, this is something that uh, Western people sometimes do. They drink coffee after dinner. Stoner tried to talk to her, but she was restless and distraught. Distraught here means like upset, disturbed. They sat in silence for many minutes. Finally, Grace looked at him intently, shrugged her shoulders and sighed abruptly, suddenly. Look, she said, do you have any liquor in the house? Any alcohol in the house? No, he said, I'm afraid not. There may be a bottle of sherry in the cupboard, but page 247. I've got most desperately to have a drink. Do you mind if I call the drugstore and have them send a bottle over? 
So she's not only tired and unhappy, she's also drunk. Um, she does grab the sherry tianjiu out of the cupboard, takes a drink directly. Uh, no, not directly. Uh, she pours it out, has a drink and says it's gone sour and I hate sherry. But she drinks all of it anyway. Uh, and then they start talking about her drinking. Uh, and she says, I always uh, I every week I tell myself next week I won't drink quite so much, but I always drink a little more. I don't know why. Uh, Stoner guesses the same thing that we do. Are you unhappy? No, she said, I believe I'm happy. We're almost happy anyway. In other words, she can't say that she's happy. She's unable to say it. It isn't that it's she did not finish. By the time she had drunk the last of the sherry, the delivery boy from the drugstore had come with her whiskey, and so she started drinking the whiskey. And they start talking. Last line of this page. I suppose she said. I suppose I got pregnant deliberately, though I don't I didn't know it at the time. I suppose I didn't even know how badly I wanted, how badly I had to get away from here. I knew enough not to get pregnant unless I wanted to, Lord knows. Uh, so she also admits to herself that um, her getting pregnant Hang on. 